as you guys could hear, that was the noise of this D15 engine on this Ferrari Cascadia, the year 2012, coming from the front area of the engine, and uh, we could identify the fault just by hitting it. So uh, we decided to take the engine apart, and once we took it apart, we found the evidence of the problem that this DD15 engine was having. And um, in this case, the foul is very unusual, something very, very unique, and that is a connecting rod bearing then went out, completely out. So the bearing was completely out of place and the connecting rod was actually just moving around and that was the reason why it was making that loud noise when the engine was running and the reason as i say is because the bearing is completely apart it got destroyed usually what happens when the uh, dd50 engines and connecting rods or main bearing rods go bad usually the engine just doesn't move anymore it gets stuck frozen and it doesn't rotate anymore because of the bearing lack of lubrication and this is going to stop the engine in one position until it gets fixed. But in this case, we can clearly see the evidence of this uh, bearing right here, and this was completely destroyed. And also the connecting rods were damaged. In this case, no, cylinder number one is the one that was completely damaged. And uh, you can see the scratches and all that, all the situation that happened to it. Also, the other connecting rod bearings suffer some damage, but no like cylinder number one. Cylinder number one was the one that suffered the major damage. And as consequence, as consequence of having main bearing damage, we also wanna have crankshaft damage. And as you can see, crankshaft suffer a major damage. And this tell us that we cannot reuse this crankshaft. We have to remove the engine and we have to replace the crankshaft. I have multiple videos showing how it's like to replace a crankshaft. It requires a lot of work, a lot of experience, a lot of time to actually remove the crankshaft and you have to remove the engine and you have to remove different components to actually get to the crankshaft itself. So that is a different process. I have a couple videos showing that and if you wanna see that, you can just Check on my channel and you're going to have different videos showing how it's like to replace the crankshaft on a D15 engine. But up to right now, we have the cause, the clear cause of this issue. The loud noise in this D15 engine was cause, was making, was something very unusual. Very unusual is the first time I see something like this, to be honest. The engine didn't suffer a major damage, major than whatever it is, because... Um, the connecting rod, after a while, because it is bouncing, right? It is uh, bouncing up and down, up and down, because the movement of the piston, that's how it moves. So if this continues on moving like that, the connecting rod is just going to get destroyed and it's going to break the engine block if it continues like this. In this case, it didn't happen. So the, the problem is major, but it didn't go farther than that. And as we can see, a clear example on how like a connecting rod then actually destroys an engine block, and that is something then you don't want to see on your engine. Luckily, this engine didn't suffer this problem, and it was safe. Um, I mean, the engine is, was still running, but it was safe from this issue. Now, what we have to do is buy new connecting rods, new crankshaft, new overhaul kit, uh, we have to buy a new old pump because this suffered a lot of damage with all the debris Then this pump was actually pulling from the old pan. As you can see, there is a lot of debris on the old pan and this was just because of the excessive amount of material that the bearings were releasing. And we have to replace the uh, old suction manifold, old cooler, and all the other components that are important for the lubrication system on this D15 engine. And that will be a very expensive repair. We're talking about probably just parts around like ten to fifteen thousand dollars, depending on the components we replace. Now, especially right now, when we are in 2022, it's very hard to get parts. So probably we want to uh, pay a little more money for parts that are not that expensive, just because 
they're very hard to get and we have to pay extra money just to get these parts but this is the consequence of something probably what i believe is then probably someone did a job to this engine before and they didn't do it right and this you know suffer a consequence on this bearing then got uh, damaged um so uh, now we have to replace the current shaft and the connecting rods to actually fix this issue and the rest of the components the overhaul kit that is just part of the repair but not the reason why we are doing the repair and um and that's how it goes and we also have other engines that have the same problem connecting rod issues or main bearing rod uh, main bearing caps issues where the main bearing just you know get destroyed and the crankshaft doesn't move anymore it's a very common problem on the d15 engines especially with the lack of lubrication it is very uncommon to see this issue when the engine still runs and they have a problem the engine has a problem with the connecting rod bearing or the main bearing but it happens as we can see clearly on the uh, uh, the sample of this uh, engine then was completely uh, taken apart and we have all the components that were damaged and now the result is going to be a very smooth repair but um, it is just a uh, update on this engine this sound this is the reason why this engine was making a sound i know many of you could see this video before but nobody knew what was the issue but now you know what was the issue and know the consequences and probably probable causes or the things to look if you actually hear this loud noise coming from your engine um, there are Many different repairs that I'm going to be showing on my channel later, so stay tuned on my channel. And if you have any questions about this video, just comment below. Uh, there is always something that was left behind, and if that's the case, just comment below. And if you have the answers for those questions, just comment below as well. Some of you have very good experience, and sharing your experience is important to make this video more informative. If you want to contact me or look what I'm doing, you can go to Instagram and look for me, Francisco Mana YouTube. Uh, you can see different content that I'm doing there and you want to send support to the channel check the description of the video where I have details how to send support to the channel as always like the video share it subscribe and thank you for watching